Hi everyone, just coming on here to talk a little bit about Gaia Skin's Ayurvedic Rose and Fennel Face Mask. Um, it is a beautiful face mask made with amazing ingredients and I was going to just make some for myself. So I thought, why not do it along with you? Now, I'm going to take a spoonful to show you um, what the mask looks like. It's a powder face mask, so it's powder. Uh, beautiful ingredients. I'm just going to put a little bit um, into a bowl. Um, powder face mask because they, um, it has so many benefits because it has no um, preservative, no shelf life, easy to care, travel with and so versatile because you can, based on how your skin is feeling on that day or how your client's skin is feeling on that day, you can um, activate it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to activate it using my, um, the, the uh, Kaya Skins Rose and Tulsi Hydrate. Um, so yeah, um, the ingredients in this, I'm just gonna mix it and I'll show you how it looks like. So um, the ingredients in this mask are so amazing they're so cooling they have beautiful cooling um and calming soothing property uh, properties it has this mask this is what it looks like it's a beautiful gorgeous gorgeous pink color and this color is coming from um, the rose petal powder so the ingredients are some of some of the ingredients are oats sandalwood rose petal powder rose hip pomegranate extract cardamom so beautiful uh, beautiful ingredients and when you mix it up and then let's say if your skin is feeling a little dry on a certain day and you're going to be using the mask what you can do is you can add a drop of honey into it i love doing that i can i will sometimes maybe even add a drop of uh, kaya skins um one of the face oils into it just a drop or two um and then what you do is you go ahead and you apply it avoid the uh, avoiding the area around the eyes and how long should you keep this kind of a face mask on? So um, it depends, like it, you wanna wait until it is not completely dry. And some people may say, so how long should I keep it? Well, it depends on each, the heat um, that is in each person's, how, how, much, how much heat is in each person's body, like so. It varies, some people may have more heat in the body, some may have less heat. So if you have more heat in the body, the mask will start to dry out very quickly. Uh, you don't want to wait until it dries, dries, uh, dries completely. So when it's semi-dry, you take a, um, what I like to do is I take, take a muslin cloth, wet it, and then sort of pat it, and then reactivate the mask again. Uh, you can totally rinse it off too, but I like to pat it, and then when you reactivate it, then you massage it in. So it has, the, the oats have cleansing properties, and it's so nice to, when you kind of massage it in, you also have the mild exfoliation going on, um, and then you can rinse it off, or you can just, again, wash the cloth, and then wipe it down again. Mm -hmm. And you can follow it with your favorite um, uh, Kaya Skin Face Oil. So give this... Um, Give this mask a try it's a beautiful mask especially for the summer heat it is amazing it uh, it will help calm down any inflammation or even acne psoriasis eczema it is such a beneficial mask i have had such great reviews uh, from clients who've used this so give this mask a try and let me know how you like it